Now everybody, today is a very, very good day. You know, for we have a very, very new flight simulator release. Of course, I'm talking about the X-Plane 12 flight simulator. See, this has been so much long awaited, right? The X-Plane 11 that we, you know, play all the time here on this channel came out like five years ago. Something like that, yeah, 2017. And it was high time to do a refreshment, especially since the flight simulator from Microsoft came out two years ago, right? Everybody, the so much improved X-Plane 12 is finally out. You can buy it now for $59.99. And I'm so disappointed that they didn't go for $69. Sorry. Anyway, there's a few new changes and everybody today it is time to really check out the X-Plane Flight Simulator, right? I have just bought X-Plane 12 here online for, again, you know, $60. It's got a bit of a rebranding, new logo, a bit more simple. Totally important. Let's start it up. Come on. <laughs> you know, this is supposed to also serve as a bit of a first look. And ooh, what can we look at right here, everybody? Is that an A330? Hmm. Ooh, you know, very much X-Plane style. We're starting off with a nice little intro. We can see water right here. Something that we've added in new. We can see, oh yeah, we can see trees. And those look nice. You know, 3D trees, very important. We can even see some new changes to the clouds. That is for sure one of the brand new changes and some reflections here of waters here on the ramp. Very interesting for sure. We're right now here spawning into Seattle airport everybody x-plane 12 all right sk you know skip the intro who cares <laughs> and everybody yes now it's time to do a bit of a tutorial flight which we're going to do now skip tutorial because after all this is still x-plane right we have the same ui basically it does look different it does look more modern we have got you know this blurry thing going on and let me just put the graphics up a little bit put it to maximum Pretty much just the same as we've already seen it with the X-Plane 11, which is nice because, you know, this just feels like home still, right? Not too many changes. All right, now with the maximum graphics up, as you can see, the performance here of X-Plane 12 really isn't bad, right? No stuttering at all on maximum ultra graphics. Talking about maximum ultra, I mean, Jesus Christ, this runway looks absolutely beautiful, so much better than the original X-Plane. Of course, I've got no add-ons installed whatsoever because there's pretty much much none just yet. Oh, I mean, okay, you know what? There are actually. For example, we've got Air Ordin Airport Enhancement add-on. You can buy those now for $17 for X-Plane 12. See, X-Plane developers were given early access, of course, to develop their add-ons. Anyway, yes, this is very vanilla, very blank X-Plane. Oh, very vanilla, very blank X-Plane 12. Right. Now, the thing is, it's a little bit dark outside. Let's go ahead and uh, change the time of day here a little bit. There we go. Come on, let's do that. Yes. And here we can already see, well, they've done a lot of changes to the lighting. My god, this flight simulator looks much better, much more realistic. This is one of the new things they have added in, photometric HDR lighting engine. And everybody, something we're already spawned in as well into is another change. Everybody, welcome aboard a Cirrus SR20. 20, which one? 20, uh, 22, 22. You know, I fly this plane in real life. I mean, the SR20. So in all humbleness, I'm kind of the person that can judge how realistic this brand new plane is. Yeah, it's one of the five, six new planes we've added in, A330, Citation. Uh, I think our RV, that's an advanced plane, PA-18, that's nice. Some new ones that we're gonna check out in a second. Ready, let's take a look at the Cirrus though. All right, so welcome aboard. We've got a nice glass instrument cockpit. Let's check something, yes, all right. The butterfly doors open just like they should. I mean, okay, the Cirrus isn't that hard of a plane to develop, yeah, of course. Something that does work, I guess, is the Cirrus cockpit here with the keyboard that everyone loves and it does. So that's okay, but it's still the old G1000 of X-Plane, meaning we don't actually have synthetic vision, which is such a little detail that m most people actually won't mind, right? But yeah, all these switches, of course, work. This is totally flyable of a plane. Is this perfect, though? No, this can definitely be improved by an add-on. Anyway, let's maybe, you know what, just already start flying here. So we can take a bit of a look. I've already set up my controls here on the flight simulator. So I'm ready to get going here. There we go. Looking great. Mm-hmm. We've got nice sound designs. I do have to say, this plane sounds like the real Cirrus. So that's very nice. And it flies very good as well. All right. Looking great. Jesus Christ, that's some maximum performance here. That is for sure. Everybody, welcome to the skies of Seattle. By the way, something we also have is a Cirrus parachute. Nice to see that, everybody. Yes. So that's the first plane that's very much new. Let's talk a little bit about other features, though, and other things. 
Of course, another thing that's new, again, are the trees. Those look very nice, very 3D. We've seen those in the flight simulator 2020. And everybody, the most biggest change is the clouds. See, they have pretty much always sucked in X-Plane, and now they don't. So that's a new change. Look, we've got, you know, volumetric things. You can actually fly through them now, which absolutely looks nice. I'm just hanging here on this <clears throat> parachute. Something that has still stayed the same, and I've said this before in another X-Plane 12 video, is everybody the scenery. This is not satellite scenery. You know, this scenery-wise just cannot come close at all to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. You know, obviously, you know, Laminar Research, the developers don't have the facilities to operate that. You know, for this kind of cloud streaming that Microsoft has going on, you need servers, you need to buy the satellite scenery, which Microsoft didn't have to because they have their own, you know, things like that, which scenery-wise, make this flight simulator a bit inferior, at least out of the box. See, in the near future, we will see tons of add-ons that add in satellite. Anyway, let me time to move on. Service is all right. Oh, new menu here, new flight, okay. Now, the elephant in the room, everybody, A330. Let's check out some airports. I've downloaded the whole of Europe. Just, just go to Gibraltar. Mm, all righty, so welcome everybody aboard the A330 here at Gibraltar, which desperately needs some modding. Yes, you will have to install some add-ons to make this look proper. Anyway, something that does look very nice is the new water, you know, animation we've got going on right here. A whole lot better, really not bad. But everybody, let's focus on the A330. Indeed, everybody, the mud butter machine. Now, with a Lufthansa delivery, let's spawn into the cockpit to check this out. See, my expectations aren't very high. This is still a default plane. I paid no money for this. You know what? Shh. Let's check this out. Turn on the batteries here. Okay. All right. APU battery, turn on the APU while we're at it. Okay, that is looking great. Yeah, okay, I mean, I mean, I, I can already tell this is a bit simplified. Something I do like to see is that oh, pretty much all switches here work. That's actually pretty nice. Anyway, APU's coming on right here. Let's already turn on the generator. There we go. Okay, all right. Something I can see is that the systems are a bit simplified. We don't, for example, have to at all align the inertial reference system or anything here. Something you would have to do in real life. It's a bit simplified for sure, but could be improved with like some add-ons or something. Also, there's no proper um, MCDU, as you can see. This is uh, just proper X-Plane, but probably the best freeware I've seen ever before, so I don't really mind. Okay, this is quite all right. I'm not right now starting off the engines right here, as you can see. But everybody, let's just skip this boring part and immediately jump into the interesting part. And everybody, the interesting part is, of course, landing the A330. Let's put out the landing gear just to see. Well, what does the A330 have to offer? Everybody, toted landing gear? Question mark. Butter landing? Question mark. All of that and more now in the next 20 seconds. And yes, everybody, we do have nicely tilted landing gear. Just, just how I expected it. That's very nice to see. So everybody that's coming for a landing here, Gibraltar. We might just be a bit fast, but who cares? All right. All right. We've got a bit new runway lights. I've not seen that before. Oh, yeah. This plane handles absolutely beautifully. Jesus Christ, that has been butter. Of course, you know, the add-on that I always use to measure my landing rate doesn't work at all anymore. So uh, that has to be updated. But everybody, the A330 <laughs> has landed. Let's try this out. Check it, toggle replay mode. Yeah, of course that works. That is something I always miss about the Flight Simulator 2020. It doesn't have a proper replay. This one does. You can just press your button and watch your absolute butter landing. This is everybody what I'm talking about. Check this. Yeah. Oh, bit of a bug right there. Right on touch. You see that? Can't really figure out what it is, but here we go. Check this out. Huh? Huh? Okay, a bit strange. But everybody, there we go. Everybody, A330 definitely also is Swiss's Air 1 approved. I mean, it is simplified, but definitely a very good default plane. I think I can compare this to the old default 737, where you don't have this absolute madman realism, but you know. It's good enough to fly around, definitely. All right, now it's time to move on, everybody. Welcome aboard, everybody, the Cessna Citation X. My God, what a beautiful jet. This is actually the plane that I recorded my first video on, you know, with the Hurricane one. So this is actually a very special plane to me, and it's so nice to see it in the flight simulator now. An X-Plane added in brand new. Everybody, we're in Switzerland right now at Samaden Airport, and it really doesn't look that bad. Really, the trees make up totally for the fact that there's no proper scenery. Like, this seriously looks nice. I, I seriously cannot wait how to see how this looks with proper add-ons installed. But everybody, that is gonna come in the future. Anyway, what are the Alpine Mountains known for? Good snow. 
And that is something we can actually change as well. See, we've never really had proper snow here for the flight simulator, but already we can do that now. So let's go for January or something like that. Can we add snow right here? Come on, we can do that now, right? Everybody, yes? One of the new features here in X-Plane 12. Even ice and rain is simulated properly. Mm, oh, yeah! All right, we've got light snowy conditions. This actually looks quite nice, and I like this very much. Everybody, let's check out the Citation X. See, I've never actually flown this plane ever properly, so I'm just hoping um, this will just magically turn on. I haven't even flown a Cessna plane properly. There you go. Battery one, battery two. Avionics power. There we go. Standby power. There we go. Fuel boost. Turn that on. So everybody, let's go and start up the engines. Does this work already? Probably not. Aha. All right. Looking great. I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's uh, it's working. Here we go. The turbo fans are turning on. Okay, I see. Meanwhile, it's maybe time for a proper review here of this little private jet. Things are looking absolutely fine. Of course, it doesn't have any like details that you would expect from a, you know, Payware plane, right? None of this actually works. Do we have a lavatory at least? We don't. Can we take a look inside anyway? Oh, uh, we don't even have that animated. Great! But everything's looking, looking great. All right, let's turn on the right engine here. And so we can now, I guess, try to just already take off here from this runway. All right, very realistic. Nothing to say, start up. All right, nice and quiet here. The Citation X, let's take off already. That didn't take long of runways. Man, this plane is nice. Something I love to see, by the way. I know I took off without flaps, but it doesn't matter. Look, we've got nice wing flex going on. You know, this is just, just a great plane. It always has been. And so it is displayed nicely in the flight simulator now as well. Something I am wondering about is, I mean, what happens if you crash this? Wait, just, I, I, I do want to check that out. Oh, we got removable wings. All right, this is already much better than the Microsoft flight simulator. Great one. Okay, I like to see that very much. And we also got a new helicopter now here, the R-22. We hate helicopters here, so I don't really care, <laughs> right? All right, everybody. So I think I've covered most of what is new to this flight simulator. I mean, you know, we've got a few more planes here, like this Lank Air, which I think is very interesting. I mean, I'm going to fly that actually quite a bit now. Again, we also have like the RV-10 and stuff like that, other planes. But I think that's pretty much mostly it for now. You know, I think this review, you know, this first look that I just made, is going to be outdated in a very short while, you know? once we actually see proper add-ons come out that make the whole flight simulator experience a whole lot better i would need to make so many more videos about the flight simulator improving right i mean right now we're flying through new york still looks a bit strange this can be so much improved here with some proper add-ons and i really cannot wait to do that so much by the way i like how we have a new few towers um, you know animated here that's kind of nice so everybody, that is X-Plane 12. I mean, who would I recommend this $60 flight simulator to? Well, mostly people who take flight simming seriously. The major difference between this and the flight simulator 2020 is that, well, this is a whole lot more real. This stick, it has a whole lot more extremely steady level aircraft, better ATC and all that stuff. Whereas the flight simulator is a bit more consumer friendly, right? Also consumer friendly as in you don't need to install any add-ons, which you do have to very much do here. If you want to learn to fly properly, get X-Plane 12. That's what I'm kind of trying to say. And everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. This is a lot of fun and I cannot wait to check out this properly. And everybody, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, good night. And